taking turns like until everyone had their road test done and their backing test done until we're all done with our three things that we had to do all right guys so it's your boy already know who it is it's your boy Cayenne, and basically just here to do a follow-up from yesterday's video which was day zero today we are at day one and we had a pretty chill day today at csrt day one orientation it is a two-day orientation uh i'm just gonna do a quick video guys just to summarize everything we did today and just to start it off you know basically you can watch the first video it'll have a little precursor or prequel or whatever to, to this day so we went to sleep i went to sleep kind of late last night like i said before um just didn't really like the hotel room so i didn't really want to be in here i spent most of the day outside in the lobby in wow i mean um in uh, waffle house speaking of waffle house i'm hungry right now so i'm gonna knock this out and then i'm gonna go get some food so i woke up around five o'clock the plan was to take a shower by five o'clock be done by 5 30 with the shower and the brush of my teeth and the getting dressed and the you know what i'm talking about with the yelling the, the shooting yeah, the goulash, all the and basically i wasn't able to get ready by 5 30. i actually got in the shower at 5 30. i have a roommate here if you guys didn't know and basically he was able to hold me up a little bit when he was done in the bathroom it was already 5 30. so i pretty much got in after him did what i had to do um went ahead and took a shower hopped out the shower uh by 5 50 i was ready head downstairs then the shuttle was already there the shuttle was supposed to pick us up by six the hotel is days in Wyndham. it does have a, a continental breakfast i didn't have time to get it so I, I really just ran out the house the you know room luckily i do have a bag of snacks Show you what I'm rocking with right now. Got a bag full of snacks. So I went ahead and ran out the door, got to the shuttle bus, the hotels in the Sado. Then we went to Hutchins. Hutchins is where the actual orientation was at. Uh, it was about maybe 20 minutes to get there in the morning traffic and so, and so forth but once we got there we pretty much just went to the main office we did a little presentation with the teacher or trainer well not a trainer but he's like the leader of the class or so a teacher he did a quick like presentation showed us who the owner of the company is told us that the owner is a very cool guy very straightforward it is privately owned he did say some very interesting things about other you know things that happened in the trucking world he said that swift apparently bought out trans am no i'm sorry swift bought out us express swift bought out i think knights transpo as well they bought them all out so they're all one company for now they may be using their own names but they're all owned by swift how is that possible i don't know but um yeah so we basically just did our road test and our backing test just to show that we are proficient enough to do a job that needs us that, that requires us to drive on the road and back up a semi so we just did a quick um like loop around the gas station for the road test uh i'll get back to that but first we did do our back test which is not something that we took too much time on our trainer our teacher was you know he was very specific on us just trying to just trying to notice if we know how to just he was really just trying to gauge if we know how to turn the wheel to go the way we want to go i still did a good job i have a clip i'll load it up in the video somewhere here but besides that we did a road test and all we did was just go around the gas station like i said and for me, it wasn't that bad. It was a little nerve-wracking because the last time I drove a truck was when I took my CDL test, maybe four weeks ago now. Because today is the 19th. I took my test on the 24th. Then I believe the next week was the 31st. I got my license. Then, you know, one week passed, two weeks passed, and now we're, yeah. So it's been about four or five weeks. 
So I haven't been in a truck for a long time. So driving wasn't something that was common to me at that time. And not to mention, I'm from Florida. I was I, I was living in Orlando. They flew me, uh, CRST flew me out from Orlando all the way to DeSoto, Texas, where basically the roads aren't like Florida. You know, there's no shoulder, I realize. So the roads do seem a little smaller. My trainer did, did point out that it's all the same. It just seems a little smaller. But I did good though, you know, just tried to stay in my lane. They had a few more hills on it. Florida has no hills. They, this this state definitely has a few hills. Nothing too crazy, but I'm just saying, compared to Florida, everything's flat. So we all did our road tests. Um, basically, after that, we came back to the, to the main office area. And while we kind of did a, like a rotation, like three at a time, went to the road test and the backing test. In the meantime, we had to do our clearing house, which is like, clearing house is like, some kind of record keeping thing that they keep with your driving history with a truck like saying that you haven't gotten any truck violations pretty much like pretty much like a driving record but for a truck record so we had to give consent to crst to run our clearing house that was the first thing that we had to do the one the second thing we had to do was do all our like pretty much like training programs for crst like talking about tra like sex trafficking, talking about hazards, talking about like fatigue and the uh, sleeping on, you know, like how to run your clock, those type of videos. Each video had like a module. Each module had a certain topic and each topic we had a video and then each video had a quiz. Sometimes it was like a one question quiz, like common sense. Did you read the, did you watch the whole video? Yes. Sometimes they had like 10 questions you, you had to do. Some videos were one minute long, two minute long, all the way to 17 minutes long. So it was a very tedious task, you know, for, if you know what I mean. The last thing was we had to do 10th Street. Now, if you guys have been applying for jobs, you should already know what 10th Street is. It's like a housing, uh, um, it's like a housing application for your job applications. So instead of you having to go to different sites, it's like all housed under one company, I guess. So that's what we have to do. Just make sure that our address on our like forms match the address on our ID. That's all. Is it a bug on here? What is that? Texas, man, Texas. Yeah, but after that, we pretty much, um, we had lunch there. It was a catered lunch. The restaurant was, I have a thing right here. Actually, I'll show you guys, even better. Jason's Deli. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. See that? So we got a little shrimp alfredi going on. I mean, chicken alfredi going on. Some biscuits, like a bread kind of bread kind of vibe. Alfredo going on right here. Can't see it, but you know, Alfredo and a cookie. Now, you only got one plate. I got two. Don't ask me how, because if you're hungry, you're going to eat. And I was being pretty, you know, speaking of eating, I kind of want some Chinese food. Let me see what they got going on. Chinese spots closed. I'm mad I waited so late. Now it's so dark. I'm not sure if you guys can see me or not. Ooh, that's better. Not everyone outside can definitely see me inside, though. I look good regardless of the fact. You hear it? So, yeah, we basically had our lunch there. It was a nice lunch. You know, Texas food is good from, from what I experienced. The the hotel is across the street from a Waffle House. And uh, the Waffle House there was amazing. I had a, I don't eat pork. Muslim. So, I basically went ahead and ate. It was a egg sandwich with some cheese, I believe. I think turkey or it was no, it's not turkey. It was some kind of egg sandwich with a side of uh, hash browns, and I got chicken instead of the like normally it comes with pork. I got like a chicken breast. It was, the breast was amazing. 
And normally I'm not a chicken breast guy, but that was definitely amazing. All right, see the waves, the ripples. But uh, after that, we pretty much just, you know, spend the whole day either taking turns, like until everyone had their road test done and their backing test done until we're all done with our three things that we had to do. The whole process with CRSC, from what I understand so far is, orientation is two days. After that, we get a trainer, we get a mentor that mentors us for 45 days. Now that process for some people has already begun. They're getting calls and texts from their mentor saying, hey, I'm your mentor, my name is so and so forth. We'll be on the road as at this date and this time. I don't want to be here longer than I have to. And I want to get back on the road so I can get my experience in. I'm not in a rush. I learned to take things slow and be patient, but I'm ready to learn, you know? I don't make money unless I'm driving, you know? So besides that, guys, pretty much did our road test, finished our documents, and then, you know, um, one thing, I have a clip from the actual road test when I was doing it, after I did it and passed it. So the steering wheel I realized was way better than the steering wheel I had at my city of school. I went to Valencia College and their trucks are nice and all, but being that I never drove a truck before, I did notice that the wheels weren't very aligned. But in this truck, the new one, it was smooth. Like it was like butter. Like turning that wheel was like butter. I was like, you know, let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook now. Let him cook. I said, let him. Bring a phone charger, guys, because I actually thought I brought one, and I actually realized I left it in my girlfriend's car when she dropped me off at the airport. I went to the gas station. There's a 7-Eleven across the street. I have paid $27 for a type C. It's charging my phone right now. A type C charger to a U to a to an iPhone charger. $27. Today I'm going through my lunch bag and I found the charger that I packed the first time. So at least, at least now I have two chargers, right? Um yeah guys, when you're gonna be out here or when wherever you, you go to for your training and your for your Orientation, you are gonna spend two days here guys, bring money for food and water and you know, so forth. I haven't spent much, but you know, have a little money in your pocket. And if you guys want tips about how to save money while you're here, you know, let me know. I have some tips I did. I am being very frugal right now. So that's it for now guys. Tonight was a success. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my, my uh, I'm gonna make sure the universe knows what I want. I want to get a trainer. I will. I got a trainer. I will get my trainer tomorrow, and I will get on the road as soon as possible. And besides that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try to edit these videos. I am new to YouTube. If you guys have any tips and hints and tricks, let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Waffle House and buy some food and edit. <laughs>